Hello friends, it's an honor to welcome you once again to Rick's Garage. Today I have a very brief little video for you. It's about these little screws that some manufacturers use to tie down their rotors. These screws are actually not necessary. The only benefit to them I can see is holding the rotor in place while you're trying to install the pad. But if you've ever worked on a car equipped with these, sometimes they're a real pain to try to get off. And I've got a tool that you might find interesting, a very inexpensive tool that does a great job of removing these. This, friends, is the tool I was referring to. It's a impact driver, very inexpensive tool. You can buy it at most any hardware store for under $20. What you do is you select the appropriate size bit. Let's go with this one. Insert it. And then you, uh, well, why don't I demonstrate it? Okay, friends, uh, we're back at the rotor I plan to remove. Now, as I mentioned up at the bench, you select the appropriate size bit. And this tool has a dual action. One, when you hit the end of it, it presses in to make sure that it doesn't slip, and it turns it simultaneously. Very, very effective. Uh, it's not only good for rotors, but any kind of Phillips screw that you have that's rusted and you can't get out, uh, this is a great tool. So what we do is we put it in and we turn it the direction you want to go. You can either go to the right to tighten it or to the left to loosen it. So you turn it to the left and you strike it with the hammer. There it is. But you can see it did indeed loosen the screw. It did not strip it. And now it's ready to come out very easily. This is a handy little tool to have, not only for removing rotors, but for lots of things. So that's all I've really got here today. I just wanted to show you this little uh, uh, impact driver. Very simple tool, very inexpensive, and it can get you out of a lot of trouble. So I want to thank you once again for watching Rick's Garage. And it is my sincere hope that we'll see you again very soon. Uh, before I go, don't I don't want to forget, um, I'm going to post a couple of videos to your left. If you find either one of interest, feel free to click on one or the other. And to your right is going to be a picture of my trusty avatar, my German Shepherd. Feel free to click on that if you wish to subscribe. So I want to thank you uh, once again for watching, and uh, hopefully we'll see you again pretty soon.